Hello and welcome back to this small video series where we are trying to predict possible questions for the Maths GCSE grades 1 to 9 higher tier paper and specifically we're looking at paper 2 which is the paper coming up on Thursday we're looking at possible questions, questions that are in you could say vogue at the moment any of the exam boards we'll be drawing upon to try and test you at the higher levels. We're talking about levels 7, 8 and 9 here. Now one question that does tend to keep cropping up is rationalizing the denominator. Rationalizing the denominator basically means get rid of a third from the bottom of a fraction. Rationalize that denominator, turn that third into a number which is an integer. Now if we had something like 2 over root 5, that would be very simple. We just times the bottom by root 5 and we times the top by root 5. Because when you multiply a third by another third of equal size, you just get the number inside. Or if you prefer to write it like this, root 5 times root 5 is equal to root 25. You multiply the insides and you end up with root 25 is just 5. Or if you prefer, you can have it like this. Root 5 is the same as 5 uh, to a power of a half. Multiply by 5 to the power of a half. And when you multiply indices, you add the powers. So it would be 5 to the power of a half plus a half. And of course, that's going to make 5 to the power of 1, which is 5. But personally, I think it's fairly unnecessary to do that. All you need to remember is if you have root a times root a, you're just going to get a. So that could be root 5 times root 5 which will be 5, it could even be root 7 times root 7, you'll get 7. So that's your basic skill for this question. However, in this question, they're not just going to make you rationalize a simple fraction like this, they're going to make you rationalize something like that. Now you have to remember that when you're rationalizing a denominator that has this form, you must use the difference of two squares. So in other words, you can't just say, oh, well, I'll just times both top and bottom by root 2. That's not going to get rid of the third, I'm afraid. So what you've got to do is rationalize it by multiplying both top and bottom by the difference of two squares. Hopefully you know what the difference of two squares means. So I'm just going to write this out again. So 6 plus root 2 over 8 plus root 2. So what do we want to multiply both top and bottom by? Certainly not root 2. Certainly not 8 plus root 2. That's not going to get rid of the third. Well, we're going to multiply it by the difference of two squares. So what does that mean? That's going to be 8 minus root 2. And we'll do the same to the top, so we'll multiply the top by 8 minus root 2. Okay, that's going to make for a double bracket multiplication on the top and also a double bracket multiplication on the bottom. So let's do this. Now when you get good at this you don't really need to multiply them all out because the difference of two squares effectively we're going to lose the bits in the middle um, so you really just need to multiply the fronts and the backs. Depending on how many marks they're going to give you it doesn't harm just to do the whole multiplication um, you may have learnt this as foil first in or out or last um, but in any case you've got to do 6 times 8 you've got to do 6 times minus root 2, you've got to do root 2 times 8, you've got to do root 2 times minus root 2, and the same on the bottom. So let's do the top first. So on the top we're going to get 6 times 8, well that's pretty straightforward, that's just 48. We're then going to get 6 multiplied by minus root 2, which is going to be minus 6 root 2. And we've finished with the 6 now, so we're going to come on to this root 2, so we're going to root 2 times 8, well that's just plus 8 root 2. And finally, root 2 times minus root 2, that's just going to remember, root 2 times root 2 is 2, and then plus times a minus is a minus, so we're going to get minus 2. Okay, that's the numerator sorted out, let's now look at the denominator. Now, as I said earlier, because with a denominator you're using the difference of two squares, your, your two brackets are identical apart from the sign, positive and negative, you are effectively going to lose the multiplications in the middle. So really you're just looking at the multiplications at the outer edge, so first 8 times 8 and root 2 times minus root 2. But for the purpose of this um, tutorial, I'm just going to multiply them all out. Um, so we're going to get, firstly, 8 times 8, that's 64. Then we're going to get 8 times minus root 2, which is going to be minus 8 root 2. Then we're going to get root 2 times 8, which is plus 8 root 2. Then we're going to get root 2 times minus root 2, 
minus times a plus is a minus, and root 2 times root 2 is 2. Okay, now if you look into the middle here, what do we see? We see a negative 8 root 2 and a plus 8 root 2. So clearly these two are cancelling each other out, so we can just put a line through that. So what does that leave us? On the bottom we have 64 minus 2, so that's going to be 62. On the top, a little bit trickier, but we've got 48 here, minus 2, well that's going to be 46. And then we have minus 6 root 2 plus 8 root 2. This is just like adding terms. You have minus 6x plus 8x would be 2x. So here we just have minus 6 root 2 plus 8 root 2. We must have 2 root 2. Now the question asks us to write it in this form, a plus b root 2 over c. We could leave it like that. That would be your a, that would be your b, that would be your c. But all these numbers, 46, 2, and 62, are all even numbers. So we should really be able to divide everything by 2. That's going to give us a final answer of 23, 46 divided by 2, plus 1, you could put 1 there, root 2, all over half of 62, which is 31. So what do we get? We get an A, which is equal to 23, we get a B, which is equal to 1, and we get a C, which is equal to 31. And if we look back up here, that satisfies the format a plus b root 2 over c. So just remember when you're trying to rationalize the denominator, the chances are you want to start off by looking for the difference of two squares and multiplying both top and bottom by that. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found that video useful. If you'd like to watch more of our videos, just click the subscribe button here. Also, if you'd like to click the link down below, you can find out more about our one-on-one -on -one tutoring that we provide at Jesus User.